For days, we've been tracking some banned students from Saratoga High School who had been stranded in Europe for days. Within the past hour, the final group touched down in the Bay Area. The issue began when their connecting flight from Prague to Frankfurt was canceled at the last minute last week. NBC Bay Area Sergio Quintana is live at SFO, where pressure from parents and government officials appears to have sped up the process of getting them home. Hi, Sergio. Hey there. Well, you know, yeah, that flight just landed about an hour and a half ago or so, and really with just, within just the last uh, 10 minutes or so, the largest batch of those students just started coming out with their instruments and their luggage, uh, and they started boarding buses that are parked just outside the airport here to take them down to Saratoga. Now, this is very clearly going to be a trip that they are not going to forget anytime soon, and it's not just because of the concerts that they got to perform at. The student band members are finally heading home to Saratoga after a European trip that lasted a lot longer than they expected. I was just a lot more happy that I could be home before September and before school started again so I could actually have the finishing of the rest of my summer break. They are the final group of students to get back home after a tour of classic concert halls in Europe. But their trip hit a major snag when Lufthansa Airlines canceled their flight from Prague to Frankfurt. That prevented them from making their connection back to the U.S. last week. Parents had initially criticized the airline for what they say was a lackluster response, saying they were told the students might not get home for weeks. So they reached out to the CEO of the airline and the German ambassador to the U.S. They got a barrage of emails, uh, 331 emails that went to them, essentially asking them to, to uh, have a little bit of a heart and uh, get our kids uh, out from uh, Prague. Now parents say Lufthansa deserves some credit for responding to the criticism and getting the students home on a chartered flight. I just came to know today that uh, they went over and beyond have execs coming to the gates and terminals to make sure that we are having a safe flight, giving snacks to kids, giving toys to kids. Airlines have canceled thousands of flights this summer, stranding travelers around the world. All carriers have been struggling with the spike in demand as travel restrictions eased, <laughs> coupled with massive staffing shortages because they haven't been able to rehire to pre-pandemic levels. In addition, a recent surge in COVID-19 infections is also affecting those available crews. The pilots, the, the, the flight attendants, ground handlers, all these people make the planes go. They're no longer available for 10 days, 10, 14 days. Now that charter flight just arrived here from Frankfurt and it was a viable option because this was a large group with a lot of minor children that really couldn't be booked individually on available flights coming to the United States. But travel experts say that aviation is going to continue to be affected by these challenges through the season. So they have some adv their advice is to basically be have a couple different options to be able to try to get back home and also have a lot of time to make your connections. Reporting live at San Francisco International Airport, I'm Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.